In Calhoun County, the sound of purple martins chirping is an indication of springtime. 50 years ago, the St. Matthews Rotary Club built birdhouses for their homecoming during the warmer months. And to this day, about 10 birdhouses still line the streets of St. Matthews, and the purple martins flock to them every year. The Purple Martin has become a trademark of the town of St. Matthews. It started in 1969 when former Calhoun County resident David Bike went to Briggsville, Illinois. It was during that trip he learned about the benefits of Purple Martins in helping to control the insect population. He brought what he learned to the St. Matthews Rotary Club, who built birdhouses for the Purple Martins to nest. It's become our local bird. Those homes are regularly maintained in preparation for the bird's annual return. According to the Purple Martin Conservation Association, the birds heavily rely on shelters built by humans for survival. The houses can be seen around downtown St. Matthews and even outside some neighbors' homes. There's a large population at Lake Murray and they, they migrate uh, in the winter, but they do come back to where they have their summer houses and they they like it here. The increasing popularity of the bird led to the inception of the county's annual Purple Martin Festival that draws crowds from across the state. This year, it celebrates 50 years. In Calhoun County, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. For the first time this year, the Purple Martin Festival will be a two-day event. There will be a street dance Friday night at 7 outside of the St. Matthews Town Hall. Saturday morning, there will be a parade through downtown starting at 10 a.m., followed by the festival from 11 until 7. There will be rides and games and more than 100 vendors. Purple Martins are friendly birds that have Aww. a dark bluish <laughs> purple color despite their name. They're more blue than purple. Purple Martins spend about three months in nesting colonies that are spread throughout the state. In early July, the birds begin to gather in communal roosts in numbers so large that they tend to show up on weather radars. And we've Which seen is so that cool. we've seen over it. Lake Murray mm -hmm. when it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Purple Martins are blue. Are blue. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it, they're, a blue jay is also blue, but it's mm -hmm. called a blue jay. I guess they didn't want them to be the Blue Martins. And and maybe the person who decided to name it Purple had a, like a little shade issue. A little you colorblind. Know? Just a little colorblind. It looked purple to her. What was the or name him. of the bird that was pecking on the side of WLTX the other day? The brown uh, breasted something with a nut, hatch? nut I don't know we got a lot of birds <laughs> around we do our a station. lot of bird education here at WLTX